Welcome back once again to Business Lab. We begin with our summaries tonight. I want to take a look at some stories making headlines, both locally and internationally in the world of business. Ghana has started implementation of the Single African Air Transport Market Treaty, an initiative that seeks to deregulate the aviation sector of the African continent. What this means is that all cross-border flights with countries that have also implemented the treaty will now be treated as domestic flights. This measure intends to reduce fares and increase travelers' convenience, encourage the opening and maintenance of air links between African countries, and thus stimulate economic growth through air transport and tourism. The implementation of the treaty also aims to encourage cross-border investment and innovation which seeks to improve trade and business efficiency. It is expected that Ghana's participation will improve its positioning as an emergent hub for aviation in the West African sub-region as part of its wider aspirations of being the business gateway to West Africa. The Ghana Institute of Freight Forwarders GIF is hopeful that takeover of the single window system at the port by Unipass will help strengthen custom to custom cooperation. Between January 1, 2019, South Korean company Unipass will take over the single window system, which was jointly operated by the Ghana Community Network Limited, GCNet, and Customs World Dubai, West Blue. Unipass has been awarded a 10 year contract by the government of Ghana under the Ministry of Trade to begin operations on January 1, 2019. Team. Executive member of GIF, Johnny Mante, said they are hopeful Unipass will bring on board good experiences to run the system. The understanding and the checks that we have done is that they have been in the system for quite a while now, so they bring on board a lot of experience, which we are counting on them for, especially with a custom-to-custom -custom situation that we have talked about severally, he added. Parliament on Saturday evening approved and authorized an amount of 78.771 billion Ghana cities to be withdrawn from the consolidated fund and for withdrawal from other funds to finance government operations during the 2019 financial year. The financial year commences on 1st January 2019 and ends on 31st December 2019. The amount was announced in the Appropriation Bill 2018, which was taken through Certificate of Agency before the House rules for the Christmas break moments after midnight. It was presented and read for the first time on the same day by Deputy Finance Minister Abna Osei Asare on behalf of Finance Minister Ken Ofuriata. South Korea's government is fining BMW $10 million over its handling of a spate of engine fires in the country and the automaker's problems don't end there. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport said Monday that as well as imposing the 11.2 billion won fine, it will refer the case to prosecutors to decide whether criminal charges are necessary. BMW's crisis in South Korea erupted over the summer as dozens of reports came in of its vehicles bursting into flames. The German automaker said the fires were the result of a problem with the car's exhaust systems and began checking vehicles that could be at risk. A panel set up by the government to investigate the matter found that BMW tried to hide the issue and then took too long to recall the 172,000 affected vehicles according to the transport ministry. British Telecoms has confirmed that equipment made by Huawei has been removed from the heart of a communication system being developed for the UK's police forces and other emergency services. It follows a statement from British Telecoms earlier this month that it was swapping out the Chinese firm's kit from the core of its 3G and 4G mobile networks. It reported that the move could add delays to the £2.3 billion project. British Telecoms is covering the cost of the switchover. The emergency services network was originally due to be completed by the end of 2019. At that point, it was meant to replace an existing Motorola-owned radio system called Airwave, which is used by the police, fire and rescue and ambulance services.